Hi, so in this video we'll take a look on how to change your recording settings in Audacity. So first of all you'll go to edit and preferences to change your default recording settings and you'll go to quality here. And here you have an option to change the, the default sample rate and default sample format or bit depth. So the most two most common ones, uh, sample rates are 44.1 and 48 kilohertz. I like to use the latter. And then the bit depth, 24 bit and 32 bit floats are the most common ones. All audio interfaces uh, usually have 24 bit depth. So by going any higher than that, you won't increase the audio quality. But with the floating format, it helps you to edit your audio with more ease. Because if by accident you go above zero decibels and introduce clipping, it will allow you to go back to reduce the level back and you won't lose audio quality, which is not possible with the 24 or 16 bit formats. Therefore, I like to use 32 bit float format when I'm editing. And then you can export in 24 bit format if you want to save some of the disk space. Next, right here, we have the project rate. So this is the sample rate for the whole project. And I had my default sample rate at 48. Therefore, every time I open Audacity, my project rate is 48 kilohertz. But if I want to, I can change it and um, this will change the sample rate for each track I will then create. So let's say I, uh, I want to create a new track and by the way, by clicking the right mouse button, you can do that and you can choose whether you want a mono or a stereo track. And then as you can see, the sample rate by default for this whole project is 48 Hertz. Whenever I, whenever I create a new track, it's going to be the same. But if I change it right here to, let's say, 96, and I create a new track, it is going to be 96 now. Still, if you want to change um, the sample rate or format for each track, you can change it independently right here. And so now we have 48 kilohertz for each track. And uh, finally, uh, the last thing you have control over is when you're exporting, you can choose either the MP3 or WAV file formats or OGG. Um, the first two are the mo most common ones. So if you're choosing an MP3 file format, you can choose the bitrate or quality right here. And the higher the quality, the more disk space it will take. But the high audio quality you will get. And uh, also if you are exporting with WAV, you can change the encoding right here. So that covers it all and I wish you good luck.